Did you know that there are literally millions of people out there that want to use Instagram on their PC, not on their mobile phone? They don't want to use a tiny little screen. They want to do it on their PC or their Mac. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. There's two ways to do this, actually. One's free and one's paid. So why would I show you a paid way when you can do it free? Well, the free way is good. You can upload photos and you can do lots of things, but you can't do everything that you're used to doing on your mobile phone, like uploading videos and many other things. So I'm going to give you both options and you can make up your own mind. Let's start with the first way anyway. That's the free way. Let's jump in. I'll show you how to do it. And then you can make up your mind which way that you want to use. So here's the free way how to do this. Now, the first thing you need to know is you can use three different browsers to use the free method. First up, you've got to use Google Chrome or Microsoft Bing. Or of course, if you're a Mac user, you can use Safari. And this method will work on these three browsers only. So how do you do it? Well, first, go ahead and type in Instagram into your browser. Go ahead to the Instagram site and you will notice that you will need to log in at this point if you're not logged in already. So I am logged in, so I'm just going to click ahead to my profile here. Now, when you're on your profile, what you can do is you can get the mobile version of Instagram showing on your PC. If you're a little bit confused, just follow along with what I'm doing and it will all become apparent very soon. On the right hand side, towards the top, you've got these three little dots. Click on them and then come down to more tools. Then come down once again, but this time to developer tools. Click on that and then you're going to have this crazy box on the right hand side, which most of you will think, oh my God, what am I getting myself in for? Well, listen, don't worry, guys, because we're not going to pay attention to any of this right here. But we are going to pay the attention to the top bit here where it says toggle device toolbar. Now, what you want to do is click on this and then you'll notice that it's now highlighted blue. Now, you may have noticed a little bit of a change here, but for the real change to take place, you've got to go ahead and now click the refresh button up the top. Refresh. And now look what happens. You now get the mobile version on your desktop. And you can see because you've got the options at the bottom here. You can now click on the plus sign. You can add photos from your computer on to your Instagram page. You can also go ahead onto different people's pages. You can comment, you can do other things. In fact, if you want a list of the things you can do, check the screen right now. Now, if you want to make a note of this, just pause it and then you can just take a screenshot of this so that you know what you're able to do on the free version. OK, guys, so this is how to do it free. Remember, you can do this with Google Chrome. You can do it with Microsoft Bing. And finally, you can do it with Safari if you're a Mac user. Now, this way, you can obviously click on the plus sign to add photos, but you can't add videos. You can only do that with the paid version, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. But you can do lots of things. You can navigate around. You can like and comment on other people's posts if you want to, just like this. And then you can leave them a comment if you want to in there and type a comment. And you can also do other things like if you actually want to go ahead and you want to, say, post your own um, picture onto your own page, you can grab a picture I'm just going to grab this one here, press open, and you'll notice that when you've gone to upload a picture like this, it's going to show really strange. But don't worry, because you can fix this by coming up to these bunch of options at the top. Now, I recommend using responsive option until you get to the point where you upload your own photos. When you've done that and you can see your photo looking like this, go ahead click the drop down and then just choose any one of these mobile options. Just go ahead and choose iPhone X. It doesn't matter which one. And then you'll now see it display how it would do on your mobile phone. You can see how it's going to display on your profile when it's when it's actually uploaded. And then you can just flick to see what size you want it. 
Now at this point, you can go ahead and add filters if you want to. I never do. I find they look a bit unrealistic, but you can add filters if you want. You can flip back to edit, and then you can go into next. And at this point, you can add in your description and your hashtags. You can also add in location and of course, tag people as well. Now, when you've done this, go ahead, press share, and this will get shared onto your profile and that's done. And that means that you can now upload to Instagram via your PC. Now, of course, this may be a little bit basic for some people who upload a lot of videos and things like that. And if that's you, then the paid way is probably going to be the right way. So check this out right now. If you want to do everything on your computer that you could do in your mobile, but just have the full screen and make life a lot easier rather than transferring photos backwards and forwards between your computer and phone, then the paid way is the way to go. The good news is it's only going to cost a few dollars or a few pound a month, so it's really not expensive. But the place you want to go to is Lately Social, Social sorry. And when you type this in, press enter, click on Lately Social, and then it will take you to the Lately Social website. Now, from this point, you can just go ahead and click sign up, or you can go to the pricing options. Now, pricing tells you what you will get for how much you pay. The free plan it shows on the left hand side, you can sign up for, but it only lasts around about a month, if I'm correct, and you'll get the option then to go on to some kind of paid plan. Now, for most people, the personal plan, which is $9 a month paid monthly, you can switch over to yearly and it gets cheaper. But $9 or $7 a month is going to be perfect for nearly everyone. Unless, of course, you are someone who takes care of an agency, a marketing agency. In that case, you're going to want to go for something like the $14 a month or even the $24 for the enterprise plan. That's the one I use to take care of lots of different businesses, social media. Now, as soon as you've chose this, just click on start for free on whichever one you want and you'll get a free start period. And then you'll get taken through to this page right here. And on the left hand side, just put in your details, your name, email address, password, and make sure that you're not a robot, tick this, and then go ahead and press sign up. When you've signed up, you'll get taken through to the dashboard area, and that's this area right here. And this is where all the magic happens. Now, what you can do here is you can take care of not just Instagram, but you can take care of all of your social media here, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube. You can even build your own websites. It's a really, really good program, and that's why I use it for all of my social media. But the first thing you want to do is you want to link your Instagram account to Lately Social so you can start posting from here and also scheduling posts for the best times of the day that the most people are on and they're likely to see your posts. So come down to account manager, click on that, and then you need to add your Instagram account. So to do that, go over to Instagram accounts and then click on the plus sign. Now it's really important here that you put in your Instagram username, I'm not sure why my email's in there, but it's the username that you need. So type that in there, put in your Instagram password, and then this is really important. You've got to make sure you get the verification code from Instagram via one of these methods. This is to tell Instagram that you're using this third party program to then send over your posts and handle the social media side of things. Now, if you don't do this, Instagram's just going to turn around and say that there's an issue or there's a problem and then it won't log you in. So if you want to just see some more options, just click on this. Where is my code being sent? And it says the verification code is sent by Instagram to your email or phone you use in your Instagram account settings. So you can change the email or phone of the Instagram app or on the Instagram website. And you've got the option to go ahead there to Instagram if you want to change it. If you already know what that is though, you can just go along after doing this and then go ahead and press add account. Now, when you've added your account, it will show up here. And that means that your account is now added to Lately Social. Now let's go to Instagram here and then let's show you what you can do. Go on to post 
And then this is where you can post things like photos, videos, stories. You can post to IGTV. You can do multiple po uh, multiple uh, photos, sorry, in one post. And you can then basically add this straight to your Instagram page and it will go live. Otherwise, you can schedule it for a certain time of the day, which is best for your audience. So you just go ahead and press on this here to choose a file from your computer. Let's grab this one of a trip I made. This will then be processed. You'll see it show up here and on the right hand side. Now, don't worry, it's not going to display like this. You just get this preview window. It will actually display exactly how your photo is displayed normally. So don't think that it's going to look like this on your profile. Then you can go ahead and add your caption. Then, of course, add in your hashtags. And when you've done that, you've got a few other things that you can do. You can either schedule this, click schedule. And by clicking schedule, you can go ahead and you can schedule this for a certain time to post. So you can choose a time from here. You can choose the date. And when you've chose the date, so let's just say the 5th, then you can choose the time here to choose exactly when you want to upload it on that day. When you've chose your time by choosing the clock to a certain time here, you can then just go ahead and click OK. Then you get the other hand. So let's say I want to do this for this time right here for 4.30 and then click OK. Now that's going to show for 4.30 the time of post on the 5th of the 1st, which is tomorrow. And then you know that that's ready and scheduled to post. Now you can do other things. You can go into the repeat frequency if you want. I just leave that on once. Go to the advanced option and then you can enter your location. You can put the first comment in here. And you can also do things like you can add in emojis. Now this can be done with stories, it can be done with IGTV and it can be done with carousel where you can add multiple photos into one post. Now when you've done this, ensure that you go ahead and click on the left hand side to make sure that your profile is selected and that means that this will now get sent to your profile. So all you've got to do now when all your options are correct is come down to the bottom, click on schedule post and that will be scheduled for that time and that date. And that's it, guys. That's the simple way to use Lately Social. There's so much more that you can do on this. But the important thing is that when you're doing Lately Social, if you get any problems with it, they've actually got tutorials and FAQs, which you can go onto here. And then you can just go down any issues you've got. Just check this. And they've got a video pretty much for everything showing you exactly how to do it. Now, of course, the link for this will be in the description of the video where I think you can even get more money off this. So it's cheaper for you if you want to click that link and actually get signed up that way. And that's it. Pretty simple, right? So you can do this free or you can do it paid, whichever way works best for you. Now, I hope this video was valuable and I hope it was helpful. You got something from it and you can now go away and use Instagram on your PC or Mac. If there's any questions, guys, don't hesitate. Just put your question in the comment section below and I'll get back to you after the video. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.